Hi guys, my name is Alma. I am a second year MMLA at Medwards and I'm going to be doing the takeover today. So if you have any questions about applying to Cambridge, um, being at Medwards, um, doing MML or literally anything about my life as a Cambridge student, um, do let me know. Today is quite a packed day, I have a few lectures um, and then in the evening I'll be working at the Union which hopefully I can take you along to as well. So any questions about that I will try my best to answer them as well as I can based off of my experience. Um, so yeah. As someone who walks everywhere I would definitely say that cycling probably is the best option um, but to be honest it's really not that bad walking everywhere and getting to where you need to be if you get some music going plan your route it's not too bad so if you don't know um, each week at Cambridge starts on a Thursday um, which is not too crazy no it is crazy it's kind of crazy but it can be a little bit problematic so problematic is not the right word, but it's just confusing and can be a little bit difficult to get used to in the beginning. Um, so in the next kind of like few thingies, I'm gonna show you how I try and stay on top of things and plan my weeks. So something I always recommend to people is having a whiteboard. Um, I'm gonna show you mine. Um, so I have this big one, I have the small one, which is not updated, so we'll ignore that for now. Um, but I basically go, as you can see on the top, with um, one week and then the other one, usually with like even and odd. Um, and I start with Thursday at the top there, then I go down to the end of the week, which is Wednesday. I didn't put weekends in. Um, and I basically, for the most part, it remains the same and I input all the classes or lectures supervisions that I have um, and then in red you'll see that I have my deadlines or things that I really need to remember to do um, in like in each section I also if the day is really packed for example Monday or um, Thursday essentially I'm probably over explaining this but I know that I'm someone who easily forgets things um, especially when I'm just not with it that week so it might be a bit overkill, but I literally have a physical um, copy of a timetable because writing things, like that's why I write my lectures, helps me remember things better. I also sync all my calendars on my um, my iPad and, and on my phone. Um, and I, I separate them into uni stuff, social stuff, photography, home, all that thing, all that stuff. Um, and on every timetable that I make, I also have a digital copy, which I'll show you in a sec. I, um, do a week by week so I have a timetable which shows my week in general and I've colour coded on even weeks and then I also have a timetable which is a week by week um, because I might have certain supervisions in a, in a certain week just to remind me to get reading on the kind of general timetable which I have my but I don't refer to it as much to be honest only I only use it if I'm kind of filling that one in um, and so odd weeks stuff that is specifically um by odd weeks or even weeks are in blue or yellow and that's very basic i also have like my deadlines again in red then um yeah i've also got a list of all the groups that i'm in just to remind myself um and then i go week by week i haven't updated it so i haven't crossed out week four but um yeah so for example like i have a um, Portuguese supervision um, there that I need to remember to do and I've just put that in bold and that just clarifies things um, it might seem a bit overkill that I'm explaining this but I think it is really important to plan things as best as you can and in a way that really helps you because you can just get lost in everything really quickly
I've just finished my lecture so I thought I'd get back to answering questions. Um, I've always been a really creative person, I used to do a lot of fine art but I just didn't have the time to continue it um, as best as I wanted to so I got into photography. But yeah just continuing on from that, any of my art teachers you would have spoken to would have told you I am slightly a perfectionist um, and so working on pieces took a really long time and even some recent projects that I've done, personal projects, I just I'm very specific about things um, so photography kind of was a slightly shorter option, um, still being creative um, but not spending as much time on things which is what I thought but actually I probably spend a similar amount of time on um, editing a set of photos as I would with um, an acrylic painting so yeah I'm not sure what I saved myself from exactly um, but yeah it's been an amazing journey and I'm still learning and growing it's a very expensive one very expensive journey but it's good fun and I love it. I'm going to try and do it before it gets too dark but I live in Buckingham House which is directly opposite the Porter's Lodge so it's not too far from the main cottage site. Um, all the rooms are ensuite and we have kitchens with ovens so yeah let's do this. So this is like the entrance room this is where my bathroom is got some coats shoes um, I keep most of like my dry foods in this kind of rack thing which is quite useful um, I love these rooms because of the amount of storage we have so I've got folders and all my books um, yeah then this is my desk I think it's the best part because it's so big and I just need a lot of space to work as you can see I've covered almost every inch of it um, I've got some of my posters on the like pin board I actually haven't put all of them up um, I've also got a fridge, um, I've got some plantains which are very ripe but need frying so I need to get on that and then I've got like a small wall that I'm building of just random stuff, that's me with my parents. Um, and then this is all wardrobe and but yeah this is all wardrobe store, um, just storage space, um, the wardrobe is in there and then the rest is just storage space which is a lot and I, as you can probably understand, I haven't filled it up at all. Um, this is my bed area, um, I just have my fairy lights, a painting I did and some photos I took, some prints which I just haven't dealt with. And my camera bag there, this is my bedside table, I always keep some books so I've got this book, um, normal people <laughs> and I've always got a poetry anthology. Um, this is my next uh, casual like leisurely read that I'm hoping to start when I can find the time and that's the book I write all my poems in. A picture of me on my first day of reception <laughs> with some friends and yeah that's it. Hi guys, so I'm probably gonna have to love you and leave you at this point. I am gonna stay up for just a little bit to finish off some prep, but it's been a really good day. Thank you so much for tagging along with me um, and asking really interesting questions and being engaging. I'm really grateful for that. I hope I was helpful. I was probably a bit rambly, which is a tendency of mine, so I apologize for that, but thank you for putting up with me. Um, hopefully I was useful or helpful I don't know but it was really fun and yeah if there are any more questions I doubt I'm gonna like be on my phone much but if there are any more questions I'll try and answer them before I go otherwise it was lovely being here and um, engaging with you guys please stay safe and look after yourselves and until next time